the Cooper is still all about tradition and quality. Our hats go through 60 pairs of hands before they're complete. When Roy first took over as the CFO at Akubra, all our accounts, everything was still handwritten in ledger books. Roy respects our history and he's very committed to our brand and our values. It's pretty daunting to start new stuff, but we have kept up with the times. Roy, along with the others, have all pushed to make the company more green than we ever had before. We have LED lighting throughout the factory. We now have solar panels on the roof. Roy's been instrumental in helping with those projects. I assessed Roy as a man of good character and up for a challenge. He stayed with me for 10 years. For members, education is fairly rigorous, where you not only get ongoing technical training, you also get uh, people management and soft skills training. The mentoring he received was all about my approach to doing business and the importance of the client relationships. A lot of manufacturers have gone offshore, especially in the textile industry, because the compliance cost of having to bring your factory up to date and your employees along for the ride. 140 year old business, we weren't certainly interested in going offshore at all. The family was committed to manufacturing in Australia. These days you've got to keep current and you've got to have more ways of finding that right customer. And Roy's helped us do that. Roy's created new systems that aggregate behaviour and purchasing data, generating insights to identify the best hats for the season and peak shopping times for customers. Akuba is very much a fabric of the country. All of us are committed to making sure that continues on for generations to come. For us. For me. For the community. That's the difference a chartered accountant makes.